Hello, I think I am online right now. So uh, please let me know if you can hear me or if you can see me. Yes. Okay. So I had to try to type something right here. We are live now. Okay. I guess I am live now. Mm. And I can see that people are watching me. Okay. So uh, before, oh, loud and clear. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so um, before we officially start, okay, I can see now there are six people. So before we are actually uh, officially start, uh, let me just introduce myself. Uh, if you are totally new here on my channel. Hello, 你好,我叫Katrina. My name is Katrina. I'm from Taiwan. 我是台湾人. I'm the Mandarin teacher here in Taiwan and online and I work for part-time working for American school as a Mandarin teacher. So teaching Mandarin is my full-time job. And I'm also the Mandarin teacher of this channel, Smart Mandarin, okay? Uh, hi, ni hao. Okay, thank you. Um, so before I officially start, uh, I would like to get to know you. Maybe you can tell me what's your name, where are you from, as usual, okay? So I don't know the people here today is the same as people last time I have my live stream video. So, mm. okay, so I have to say the reason I'm doing this video, live video today, because uh, uh, if you saw my um, social media on the, my post on the YouTube channel, you know I'm recently, I am recently getting a braces and uh, uh -huh. Cambodia. Hi. So tomorrow I'm going to my dentist again to get my teeth pulled out. So I don't think I might be able to talk so much starting from tomorrow. So that's the reason I'm having my live video today. So yeah. And I got a question, actually a very good question from an online viewer. He asked me that he seems to always forget about the things that he learned and what do we do about that if we are learning a foreign language and do we always forget about the things we learn okay i think this is a good question so i'm going to talk about it today and can teach you how to um uh, not forgetting so much of what you learn uh, when you're learning a foreign language okay let's see here what do i have ni hao ni hao okay israel okay Hmm, people from everywhere. Hello, <laughs> from Philippines. Hi, ni hao. Mm. So um, I think I'm just going to get started, okay? Not waste any of the time here. So uh, let's talk about uh, learning a foreign language. So you're learning Mandarin. Uh, no matter which level you are right now, one of the biggest uh, problem is the tones, right? 声调. Tones are, thank you, tones are very um, difficult for foreigners because a lot of languages are not the tonal language. So I have the new series of my video lesson is called color-coded tone combination. I'm working on that right now and I'm going to put all the video lesson on my Patreon page. But here is kind of my idea. You see, I have this notepad. So um, what I do to teach my student is when they see the different color, they related the color to the tone. For example, we have the pronunciation ma. So this is the color when it's the light tone. Ma, ma, ma. Okay. And then when you see the color, the tone goes up. So ma, ma, ma. And then when you see this color and you go ma, ma, ma. And then when you see this, I don't know how to. Okay, this is the fourth tone. See this color? You go ma, ma, ma. Okay, uh, since Mandarin is my native language, I never learned Mandarin myself, but I think it might be helpful for you if you have four different colors 
uh, of your pan, you had four different colors of pans, and then you mark the tones with different color uh, on top of the pinyin or on top of the Chinese character. I guess it might help you to pronounce the um, you know the tones more correctly. I'm not really sure, but you can try that. So, so for example, uh, you want to say, uh, for example, um, cherry. Okay, so ying tao, ying tao. So ying is the first tone. I'm gonna type this down in case I forget that ying tao. Okay, ying tao is cherry. So what you have to do is do to do like. Well, I mean, if I were learning Mandarin, if I were a student learning Mandarin, I would definitely, definitely do this. Ying Tao, Ying Tao. Oh, Morocco, hi. You see? So you use different color. When you see the color, it reminds you how the tones will go. Okay, that's what I thought. You can try that. So when you see this color, like Ying. Ying, ying, and you see this color is like tao, tao, ying tao, ying tao. Okay, you can try that. Okay, so this is one、uh, suggestion I might give you for correcting your tones or getting your tone more correctly. Okay, so this is for pronunciation, how to learn Mandarin. Okay. And the other tips I want to give you is that for pronunciation, this is what I do.、Uh, I don't know if that works for you. This is what I do when I'm I was learning English back in school. I want to check if my tone is correct or if my tone is you know is right. I would、uh, try to copy what a native speaker would say, but in order to Hear myself more clearly. I would do something really stupid. Okay, do you have the experience that you cover one half of that your ear right here? If you cover right here or both, and you can hear yourself more loudly or more clearly. Yeah. So this is what I do when I try to copy what a native speaker would pronounce, would say, and I would do like this. For example, um. The same example, Ying Tao. So Ying Tao. So when I do this, I can hear myself loud and clear. Okay, and I would just compare my pronunciation to a native speaker's pronunciation. So this is how what I what I do to hear myself more clearly. Hello. Okay, from Poland. What time is it now in Poland? In the afternoon, maybe. Okay. So. You can try that, and another tip is to hear yourself more clearly when you pronounce the word. Is、uh, I'm sure that everyone has the experience that when you're taking a shower and you're singing and taking the shower at the same time,、um, you know, in the shower room there's always echo, so you can hear your singing more loud and clear. And this is also what I do when I'm learning a foreign language. When I take your shower, sometimes I would just speak a foreign language, any words that I learn, and then I just speak up, and then I can hear myself more clearly. So you can try that next time when you're taking a shower, and、uh, try to you know practice your Mandarin and hear yourself clearly, and try to correct you know your pronunciation. This is tip number three. Okay, so again, tip number one is to use color, correct your tone. Tip number two is just、uh, cover your ear one side to hear yourself clearly and try to copy a native speaker. Tip number three is when you're in the shower, you try to pronounce some word because of the echo, and you can hear yourself more clearly. So that's my tip for pronunciation. All right, let's go to grammar.、Mm, I think grammar is very important, and.、Uh, There's no other way. You just have to learn, and so you have to buy a textbook, or you have to watch some video lessons, or go with a teacher. That's how you learn、uh, grammar and the structure. And、uh, yes, 
uh, when I was when I was learning or when I'm learning a foreign language, when I'm learning the grammar, I always um, you know make sure I understand the grammar, and then after I finish learning the grammar. I would make a lot of sentences to make sure I know how to use the grammar structure. So that is my suggestion. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, yeah. So this is for grammar. Okay. Uh, let's talk about vocabulary. I'm gonna do this quick because I don't want to waste people's time. So. About vocabulary, and this is a huge problem that people learn vocabulary and they tend to like forget if they don't use it. Um, well, what I do is I think you need to have a lot of repetition. Uh, you need to write down the vocabulary that you learn or use your phone and make some flashcard for yourself. This is what I do for learning a new language, uh, remembering the vocabulary. And uh, I have books and notebooks just next to my bed. I do 10 minutes review before I go to sleep and just, you know, read the vocabulary. And uh, another tip for uh, learning vocabulary is that um, not only you can use your phone or notebook to review, and also, you can try to, you can, you have to think in Mandarin all the time. For example, you see a refrigerator and then you think, oh, how do you say refrigerator in Mandarin? Bing xiang. And then you see a TV and then you think, oh, how do I say TV in Mandarin? So you think in Mandarin constantly or you are saying a sentence like, uh, for example, oh, this is delicious. And then you have to think, oh, how do I say this is delicious? Do I know how to say this is delicious in Mandarin? So you're like, okay, how do you say this is delicious in Mandarin? Does anyone know how to say this is delicious in Mandarin? Okay. Okay. Uh, center. What? Mandarin in Israel. I'm in Taiwan. <laughs> well, you can watch my online video lesson. Uh, I have a lot of video lesson online, and I also have Patreon, and I'll put the link later for Patreon. <laughs> okay, I do have a student from Israel, but he's doing a sky lesson with me. Okay, 对对对，很好吃，答对了。对 ，so you see. This is actually what I do, and I'm actually I'm actually now learning um German. But when I was learning English, I was doing the same. Whatever I do, I just keep thinking, how do I say this in the foreign language that I am learning? Okay, 这个好吃，对对对，这个好吃 means this is delicious, right? And then you see, okay, a refrigerator. How do you say refrigerator in 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 Mandarin? Does anyone know how to say refrigerator in Mandarin? I just see whatever I see and say it. Okay. This, this, not this. Okay, this is this. This is good. This is good. This is delicious. Okay, okay. So refrigerator is 冰箱 I can use this one. Okay, 冰箱 refrigerator. 冰箱 All right. So this is for um not to forget what you learn. Okay, and、um, if you know any Mandarin native speaker, I mean, like if I was learning Mandarin, I would go find a Mandarin native speaker and tell them that uh say okay hi uh, I'm learning Mandarin right now okay. And、uh, I would love to practice my Mandarin with you. Maybe you could,、uh, you know, make a friend with a native speaker of Mandarin and say, "I would really like to practice Mandarin with you.、Uh, would you, would you mind, you know,、uh, talk to me、uh, maybe one hour a week? I'll buy you a drink or something. You know, you could do this like once a week with a Man Mandarin native speaker. I'm sure that your speaking will improve, and then you won't forget." Your vocabulary so easily because you are constantly using, okay. And this is um、uh, what I would do if I were learning、uh, Mandarin, 
Okay, so I think this is very helpful for um, not to forget uh, what you learn. All right. Um, the other one is for listening. I hope I'm not too speaking too fast. Okay. Mm. Uh, for listening, how to train your listening. Sometimes it can be very difficult, but there is a saying in the Mandarin we call 洗耳朵, 洗耳朵. I call that 洗耳朵 literally means wash your ear. 洗耳朵, uh, 洗 means wash, 耳朵 is ear. What does that mean, 洗耳朵? It's um, when I am learning a foreign language, I would like to improve my listening. I would buy the textbooks, the CDs, you know, and the play the CD or find some YouTube videos play the language that I'm learning and I don't care if I understand or not. I just play that every day in my everyday environment. I just want to get used to the rhythm of the new language that I am learning. So same for you. If you're learning German, sorry, if you're not, I'm learning German, sorry. If you're learning Mandarin, you should definitely go find some videos that speaks a lot of Mandarin or play the CD that speaks a lot of Mandarin and play in your daily life, no matter what you're doing, you're, you're writing the homework, you're washing, you're doing the laundry and you're reading the book, you just play that until you get, the, get used to the rhythm of the language. And uh, I recently found a really useful, um, I'll put the link later, but I just recently found a very, uh, let's see, uh, easy, there's a channel called Easy Mandarin. And this is, let me just find right now. Okay, very quick. And I'll put the link right here. You can go check that out. This is called, this channel, I'm not sponsored by this channel, by the way. This is called Easy Mandarin. And they just are uh, on the street interviewing people and asking questions, you know, to the native speaker and have a conversation in Mandarin. I think this is super helpful. You can do that to Xie Duo, you know, play that video in your daily environment. It doesn't matter if you understand or not. If you understand 30%, 40% of what they say, that is really good. If you don't, you just, you know, get used to this language, the sound of the language. And they have subtitles. The best thing is that they have subtitles. So you could just, you know, um, really, really listen to what people say and learn from that. Okay. And pretend you're looking for something and ask the employee in Mandarin. You're looking for, uh, probably, yeah, you can do that. Okay, you mean like you go to the shop and pretending you're looking for something and ask the employee in Mandarin. Yes, you can do that. Yeah. Chinese supermarket open my town. I am too scared to talk to this. I, okay, I don't know. What I should say? Do you have any tips? Oh, okay. I don't know which country you're from, but I think I think once when I was in uh, Germany and I went to an Asian supermarket, there are a lot of Chinese people there, and uh, those Chinese people work in the Asian supermarket. They do speak German because it's in Germany. But I think they would love to talk to you in Mandarin. I mean, the 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 Asian, the Chinese uh, worker in the supermarket. I think they would love to talk to you uh, in their own language. But how do you start? Let's see. If I were you, walking to the supermarket, and maybe I'm looking for a certain rice, maybe, and then or a certain. Um, a certain kind of sauce or noodles. Okay, let's say, for example, I'm looking for some noodles in the Asian supermarket. I want to practice my Mandarin. So I would say to the, the Asian, you know, worker in the supermarket, I might say, uh, 不好意思, uh, 
，请问一下，你们这里最好吃的面是哪一种 ？See, I would just start with my question with 啊、uh, ，不好意思，请问 ，You see. 不好意思，请问 ，Excuse me, may I ask if you start this, you know, talking to people and start with this question? I think the lady, the 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 staff there will be surprised by, wow, this person speaks Mandarin. I think they will be very friendly to you, and you will say, oh, 请问 where is something something, or 请问 you know any questions that you prepare already. In mind, and you can ask the lady, you know, the worker there. So you start with the question. 不好意思，请问 And then you start asking them question. And if they speak too fast in Mandarin, you could say, "Oh, 不好意思，我的中文不好。你可以说慢一点吗？我的中文不好。嗯、uh, ，you can tell them 我的中文不好。你可以。说慢一点吗？哎，慢一点。Yeah, this is what you say to people to the native speaker. 不好意思，呃，我的中文不好。你可以说慢一点吗 ？I'm sure they would be so happy to slow down for you. Seriously, yeah. Okay. So this is a really good idea. Going to an Asian supermarket and you know, ah,、uh, practice your Mandarin. But you have to make sure that he is a, a Mandarin native speaker because he might be a Korean or Japanese. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. So ah,、uh, go on to the next one.、Mm, okay, speaking. I feel like. 对，开 is open. One. Is close. Okay. The next one is speaking. How to improve your speaking skill? Hmm. I feel like listening is input and speaking is output. So first, you have to listen a lot of materials and conversations, and then you speak. But just like I say, go to an Asian supermarket. That's a good one. If you are in、um, China or in Taiwan. You can talk to, um. Okay, I think a hairdresser love to talk. So if you go to a hairdresser in Taiwan, or if you go to a hairdresser in China, you can talk to them. You can practice your Chinese with them because people like the hairdresser, at least in Taiwan, they really love to talk. So you can talk to them. And also, you could talk to a taxi driver. I think taxi driver they love to chat. So, taxi driver in China, taxi drivers in Taiwan. It's a good opportunity that you could just、uh, practice your Mandarin with. Okay, I think these two jobs are really great. You know, the people you can talk to, and、uh, I don't have any other people. I I think if you go to a park, if you have kids or children. And you're living in Taiwan and or China. If you have kids or children, you go to a park with your kids and children, and you can go make friends with the locals who also with the mother or or fathers in the park who also have children there, and you can make friends with them. You can practice your Chinese with them. That is also a very good tip. Okay, maybe you have like a. A、uh, Mandarin native speaker who's your neighbor, you can just you know make friends with them. That's my tips. Okay, so for speaking, if you don't have any connection, 柬埔寨啊，你好，嗯、um, ，if you don't have any connection, I think you can go online and find ah、uh, someone who's in your community or in your city who will. Want to do like language exchange? I think Facebook is a good platform that you can find person who can do language exchange, or you can just go find a teacher, meet the teacher、uh, once a week or twice a week to practice your speaking. Anyway, so、uh, for 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 local, I think、um, Mandarin native speaker are generally. Very friendly. If you tell them, say, "Ah,、uh, 你好，我想练习中文，你愿意帮我吗 ？Okay. 你好，我想
练习中文 ，or 练习说中文。你愿意帮我吗 ？I think they will one hundred percent, one thousand percent willing to help you. Okay, 我想 I would like to 练习中文 I would like to practice Chinese. 你愿意帮我吗 ？Are you willing to help me? I think they will be so much willing to help you. Okay, so that that's actually my tip for speaking. And before I wrap this up, before I finish, I just have one more tip that I forgot to say about learning vocabulary. Hmm, I think、uh, vocabulary, Mandarin vocabulary, sometimes very interesting. I was talking to one of my American student the other day because I got my new braces. So he asked me, "How do you say braces in Mandarin?" Okay, anyone here who knows how to say braces in Mandarin? Anyone? <laughs> 没有吗？没有人知道吗 ？Okay. If you know how to say jacket in Mandarin, and if you know how to say gloves in Mandarin, you will be able to figure out how to say braces in Mandarin. <laughs> Ding Xiao. Because I want to look more like beautiful, so I I think I need braces. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and if I don't get my braces now, it will be too old for me. I think. Yeah. So, 对 so okay. Uh, braces in Mandarin is 牙套牙套 Okay. So 牙 comes from the word 牙齿牙齿 is your teeth or is your tooth? So, 牙齿 and 套套 literally means cover. So, 牙套 braces is your teeth cover. Your teeth cover is braces. 牙套 So, my student he was like, oh, duh, because I told him how to say gloves. Gloves is 手套 okay. 手 is your hand. 套 is 套 is cover. So hand cover is 手套 okay. So 套 is kind of like cover, and 外套 jacket. 外 is outside, and 套 is cover. So Outside cover is jacket. Outside cover is jacket. So you see, you have hand cover, 手套 which is gloves, and you have outside cover, 外套 which is jacket or coat. So braces is 牙套 your tea cover. So that is braces, of course. So. Here is the thing: when you are learning a Mandarin vocabulary, I think a a really good tip is that you try to find the connection between words,、mm. between the words that you know already. So, for example, you know, 手套 a、uh, gloves. You know, 外套 is your jacket. So when you learn 牙套 you'll be like, yeah, of course it is 牙套 because it's Mandarin. So yeah, it's really funny when I. Taught my student how to say braces because his girlfriend is also getting braces. So, so yeah. Um, try to find the connections between words, and you will find you you could remember the vocabulary more easily. Okay, that's another tip for remembering the vocabulary of Mandarin. Okay, what about food cover? What is food cover? <laughs> I I don't I don't know what is food cover. You mean like socks? What? No, no, we don't have such thing. Food cover. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess that's all the tips I have for learning Mandarin and、uh, learning a foreign language. And before, 对袜子袜子 socks. Okay. So before I go, oh, Franz Peters, I think your Chinese is not bad. Which level? What What is your level right now? 
because I sometimes see you leave comment under my video lessons, and I can see that your Mandarin is not bad. What's your level right now? Hmm. Okay. So, uh, before I go, you could tell me what your tips uh, for learning uh, Mandarin. You can uh, let me see what your tips for learning Mandarin. Uh, here I see how to say Mandarin. I'm looking for. I would like to. I want. Okay. How do you say I'm looking for a Mandarin? Say for like you're in the supermarket and you want to say I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, well, you could say 我在找 something something. 找 is to look for. 我在找 something something. I want is 我要. I think I had that in my different many other video lessons. 我要 right. Uh, okay. I learn. I like learning Chinese from you. Okay. All right. So you can tell me your learning experience, a Mandarin learning experience. Uh, I would love to hear. Okay. And uh, what the uh other questions? Let me see. There's no food cover. We don't have that in Mandarin. Um, I would like. To, eh? I would like to, can you give me a sentence? I would like to what? If you say I would like to in Mandarin, it would be 我想要. Yeah, I would like to. Oh, that's my dog. I'm so sorry. He's very sensitive. If he hears something and he would just fart, I'm very sorry. Okay, I guess no comments here now. And uh, I think I have to leave right now. So it's really... <laughs> it's really nice talking to you guys and share this uh, how to learn a foreign language uh, the tips here online doing my second live video okay I often listen to podcasts in Mandarin while cleaning my room yes yes that's what I'm saying that just uh, make your environment more Mandarin you know listen to Mandarin all the time and I like to learn from you. Thank you very much. Okay, so before I go, I would like to have a little shout out on my Patreon page. Many of you might know I have a page. Uh, yes, uh, it's called Patreon. And I charge very little on my Patreon page. If you feel like to support me or... I cannot get the page right now. Okay, so if you feel like to support me and watch more of my video lesson, you could go to uh, my Patreon and take a look. I have everything there, even includes the video lesson that I never show on the YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video today and uh, I hope to see you very soon in the next live video. Wa tao. Oh, here in Taiwan we say wa zi, but we don't say wa tao. All right. So uh, have a nice weekend. And uh, yes, by the way, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Sheng dan jie kuai le. Kuai le. Sheng dan jie kuai le han xin nian kuai le. Before I leave, I want to wish everybody. Uh, the next live stream might be next year in January. So I will see you next year. Ming Nian Okay. 大家明年见, 再见。